Hi everyone, I'm Priyanka and you're welcome to my channel, The Terrace Kitchen. Today we see the recipe of Chinese bale in two different ways. One is the spicy, colder version of Chinese bale and the other one is spicy and hot version. Hot as in hot. <laughs> if you like this recipe, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe my channel for more such wonderful recipes. Do not forget to leave your suggestions and comments in the comment section below. Now let's take a look at the recipe. We are going to make two varieties of Chinese bale. So here I have 160 plus 160 gram. So half of it we are going to use for one variation and half of it we are going to use for the other variation. So these are boiled and cooled noodles. So heat oil to medium flame and then drop in a few noodles at a time. And we need to fry these till these become crispy. You need to flip these noodles in between and you'll see that as these become crisp, these will form a cluster and it will be easy for you to flip these up. See with just one tongue I am able to lift the entire noodle set. So similarly you need to fry all the noodles. So I have, after frying all the noodles I have divided them into two parts. So let's start with the first variation. In a bowl take 4 tablespoons Shazwan sauce, Sichuan sauce, our Indian Shazwan chutney, 1 tablespoon tomato ketchup. Tomato ketchup is optional, if you want you can skip. 1 tablespoon red chilli sauce. 1 teaspoon soy sauce. By the way, if you are fond of a lot of sauces, you can increase the amount for same amount of noodles. Now add 1 teaspoon white vinegar and give this entire thing a good mix. Here I have half cup finely chopped spring onion. If you do not like spring onion, you can skip. One small thinly sliced capsicum. I suggest that you add capsicum and one cup thinly sliced cabbage. Cabbage is going to add a very nice crunch to this bowl. Now break the fried noodles into this bowl. By the way, if you get ready-made fried noodles packet, you can use the ready fried noodles also which you get in the market. Or you can fry the noodles at home the way I just did. Now mix this everything well so that each and every noodle is coated with the sauce. And there you go, our first variety of Chinese pail is ready. You can taste this at this time and adjust the seasoning. Now moving on to the next type, heat 1 tablespoon oil in a kadhai or a pan. Add 2 tablespoon chopped ginger garlic and saute these till the raw smell is gone. Now add 1 small sliced onion. We need to saute the onion for just some time, we don't want to overdo it. Now add 4 tablespoons Shazwan sauce or Shazwan chutney. 1 tablespoon tomato ketchup. This is optional if you like. You can add else you can skip. 1 tablespoon red chilli sauce. Do not skip this. Now add 1 teaspoon soy sauce. 1 teaspoon vinegar. Give everything a mix. I use synthetic white vinegar. Half teaspoon red chilli powder. You can increase the amount of red chilli powder if you want. One small sliced capsicum. Half cup finely chopped spring onion. And one cup thinly sliced cabbage. Give this a good stir. We do not want to cook these vegetables. These taste very good uh, if they are raw and crunchy. Now break in the noodles. Now keep the flame high and mix everything well. So this variation is the hot variation of Chinese pale and though both the variations look quite similar but the taste is different because one is served cold and one is served hot. Try these recipes at home. Let us know how did you like and which variation did you like the most. Enjoy!